What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today we have an experiment for you. Ugh. This is our brand new, finally completed giant sandbox backstop. And it's freaking huge. So if you've been watching all summer, you've probably noticed we've been slowly making progress on this thing. And it was a lot of work, but now that it's done, I think we might have one of the best man-made backstops for an outdoor shooting range that I've ever seen. If you're not a gun person, backstops are important because you obviously want something behind the target just in case you miss so the bullet does not keep going in an unsafe direction. Of course, I never miss because I'm perfect, but we still needed a backstop. So I'm kind of on the side of it now, but what we did is we stacked two walls of railroad ties in the front, probably six feet tall, and then slightly shorter walls around the sides in the back. And by the way, these are not just sitting on top of each other. There were a lot of bolts and power tools involved to keep all this stuff held together. And we created kind of a box out of them, put some dirt on the bottom, and then brought an entire dump truck load of sand and piled it all the way to the top. So it's basically a 16 foot wide by eight foot deep sandbox. Probably the biggest sandbox I've ever seen. And we chose sand over dirt because I've learned over the last couple years that sand is very, very good at stopping bullets. But before we can declare this the best bullet stopper of all time, we need to test it and see if it can actually stop my most powerful guns. Let's do it. By the way, I am fully expecting this to stop everything we throw at it. So if you want to skip ahead to the 50 cal, it will probably be towards the end of the video. And that's the only caliber that I'm actually concerned about. Now railroad ties obviously disguise bullet holes really well, which is why I like using them. So we're going to staple a bunch of paper targets along the back of this thing. And that should show us if any bullets actually come through. And there it is, five huge paper targets. I didn't put any on the edges because I'm not gonna be shooting that far to the sides, but we've got the middle covered. So if anything comes through, we should be able to see it. All right, we'll go ahead and start with the nine millimeter and I'm gonna try to blow through these really quick so it doesn't get boring because you're essentially just watching me shoot nothing, so. Glock 19, by the way. Do we really even need to check? What if they all went through? <laughs> oh no, just kidding. There are no exit holes from the nine millimeter. Shocking. All right, we're gonna try one more handgun, then we'll move up to the rifle. So this is the 5.7 by 28 green tip, a very fast handgun round. These can actually defeat body armor, so they're good at penetrating. Let's see if the sandbox can stop them. The 5.7 might have the nicest recoil impulse out of any handgun that I own. I love this thing. To be honest, the railroad ties are probably stopping most of these before they even get to the sand. And of course, none of the 5.7s made it through either. So far, the giant sandbox is undefeated. Let's step it up. Rossi Ranchan 44 Magnum Mare's Leg. Now this does not stand a chance either, but I love shooting this thing, so we're gonna try it anyways. And the 44 Magnum also did not come all the way through. I would really like to shoot directly into the sand and see how deep these bullets are actually going. But unlike dirt, sand is so fine that I feel like it would just immediately refill the hole. Let's go ahead and try it anyway and just see what happens. Once again, this is the 44 Magnum. Just as I suspected, <laughs> there is no hole. Well, it was worth a shot. And moving up to the rifles. These are the guns that I actually think might have a small possibility of getting all the way through that thing. We're gonna start with the AR-15 and we are using green tip, which are the best at penetrating things, but it probably won't help it on something like this. By the way, as always, I wanna thank opticsplanet.com for sending me the ACOG that you see on this rifle. We do have a discount code with Optics Planet. If you text One Shot TV to 80907, they will send you a coupon right there to your cell phone. So shout out to them. Did the green tip possibly make it through? I say no way, but maybe I'm wrong. Who am I kidding? I am never wrong about anything. The green tip also did not come through. So this is obviously a ton of sand. And if you've seen the videos we've done on sandbags, they are very good at stopping bullets, but sandbags are compressed. Whereas this is just kind of loosely sitting there, which is the only possibility I see for something actually sneaking through. Well, we did the AR. So now we have to do its arch nemesis, the AK-47. 7.62 by 39. 
I thought about putting a camera back here, but it would basically just be looking at nothing. So I didn't do it. And once again, the 762 by 39 did not come through. Well, I brought a lot of guns out here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just get to the top three so I don't keep you guys here all day. Next up, we have the Henry Lever Action 4570. And of course, we're shooting the 460 grain plus P hard cast Grizzly, the most powerful 4570 that I have. There's a tiny little gap in the middle of our railroad ties. I'm gonna try to thread the needle and see if we can just hit sand. <laughs> I forgot how much of a cannon that was. <laughs> well, I'm not really sure if I threaded the needle successfully because it had so much recoil, I couldn't see where the bullet went, but let's go ahead and take a look at our targets. And once again, it looks like that 4570 did not come through. All right, next up, of course, we have to try an elephant gun. So this is the 375 H and H Magnum, and it's not the most powerful elephant gun that I have, but I believe it is the fastest. It's also a very lightweight gun, so it's got some pretty brutal recoil. <laughs> I love it. All right, put your guesses in the comments. We've only got one more gun after this, and so far the sandbox is undefeated. So let's see if the elephant gun came through. And I do not see any exit holes on these paper targets. You know what that means, it's 50 cal time. All right, boys, here it is, the Barrett 50 cal, and the bullet we're shooting is the 750 grain full metal jacket 50 BMG. So this is actually the very first time I've ever shot the 50 up on this range because I didn't have a backstop that could handle it before. So let's give the sandbox the ultimate test and see if it can stop a 50 cal. I'm nervous. And by the way, I'm using the table so I can toggle the slow-mo camera with my right hand. And I'm going to try to put this bullet in between the railroad ties because I don't want to put a giant hole in them. So fire in the hole. <laughs> I love the 50 cal. <laughs> Moment of truth. Let's go check it. Okay, so I tried to put that one right in that little gap there and it looks like I might have just barely missed by an inch. I'm not sure if that was already there, it could have been, and maybe I did place the shot perfectly. Um, but either way, it did go in between the ties. Let's check the back. I'm actually nervous about this one because the 50 cal is no joke and they're very hard to stop. And looking at our paper, it does not look like anything came through and it did stop the 50 cal. So it's official. The sandbox is undefeated, undefeatable, and we have created the ultimate bullet stopper. Yes. All right, guys, there you have it. The sandbox is unpenetrable. This is the result that I was expecting, but I'm not gonna lie. The 50 cal kind of made me nervous. They are just so hard to stop and they're literally made to blow through stuff that other calibers can't. So I was a little worried about the 50, um, but I'm pleased that it actually stopped it. And now we know we can shoot anything up here and it would be safe. So hope you all enjoyed the video. I realized this was not a traditional experiment and it was just kind of me shooting into a backstop. Uh, but I thought I'd bring you guys along. This was a test I had to do anyway, just so I would know in the future uh, what this thing can actually handle. And I'm impressed to say the least. So it was a lot of work and it appears to have paid off. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.